dry though, so he's not starving. He's gonna eat your brain. <laughs> It's Christina with the Geocache family, and it's been a minute. Um, the store has kept us incredibly busy, and it has life as well. Um, I wanted to share our current battle. Uh, we have aphids. Bad. So, we went down to the springs last weekend, and we adopted a bunch of these guys. I got six containers of them uh, to help combat the aphids because, look, they are just decimating my plants and there are more aphids than what these poor ladybugs can deal with. So um, the other thing I'm doing is I'm taking these sticky traps. And I'm going around and making the grasshoppers jump into them and shaking the plants onto the sticky traps uh, so that it will catch some of the aphids. Uh, I want these guys to be able to get beautiful blooms without being torn up by grasshoppers and aphids. Most of my ranunculus actually got ruined by aphids and now I've got snapdragons coming in, I've got the stock coming in, I've got chamomile coming in, I've got poppies, I've got marigolds, and lots of strawberries. I, ha I have to do some steep measures. Um, I've got to get out here and try and help the ladybugs get them under control a little bit more. So um, I am pleasantly surprised at how well these sticky traps are working. So I'm going to take them through the dahlias that are covered and really uh, shake underneath them. I've only had to remove uh, two ladybugs in the sticky traps that have been out here for a solid week now. So that's good. Uh, but definitely, they are definitely working for me to just walk above the grasshoppers and like touch it to them and then they're stuck. Wow, two containers full? Wow. Oh, there's a big one back there. I see it. Oh, she's huge. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, that one's mine. Look at that. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Uh, Naya did find two slugs in here, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that. But it is what happens. Yeah. It is what happens when you garden. Um, you, uh, you fight nature. <laughs> it is what it is. So, anyway, alright, I'm gonna go catch some more, uh, grasshoppers, but this is exciting. There's, uh, ladybug love happening all over in here. <laughs> That's like the third or fourth set I've seen. Naya had a good idea about taking these sticky traps down to the uh, chickens so the chickens can eat them off. I don't know if they will or not. I'm worried about their beaks getting sticky. But anyway, I need to catch some more grasshoppers. All right, just wanted to catch you up. All right, second attempt. 
third attempt actually shearing a sheep we did it once last year um, and actually I think we only did one of them then we did Zoisha because she was fat and panting but we still need to fix her because she looks horrible we got to get Bahia we got to work on your hooves huh get the wool off and Bromi is good for this year Do you want my help? I can put the camera down. Oh, 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 right yep. Here. Yep, right here. She's like, what the hell is She's like, no. Ha! We're trying to help you. I know your feet are bugging you. Come on, sweet girls. Come on. Come on. Come on, good girl. Come on. Good girl. She's like, I'm stuck. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, that works too. All right, I'm going to have to put you guys down. You'll just get to see before and after because these guys are so hard to handle. Yeah, and then getting a 200 plus animal on top of the stand with no ramp is going to be fun. <laughs> All right, this is why we knew we needed to get in here. This is her hoof curled over. I knew she wasn't walking right. All right, it's all right, good girl. I know it feels weird. I gotta say, not too shabby. Look at this. Look at our beautiful girl. Look, you look so much better. And your feet are well manicured, pedicured. <laughs> all right, you ready to be free? You're free! Go, baby, go! What do you think? Yeah! You want some fresh hay? Come on. You deserve some fresh hay. Come here. Hi, you're next. Yeah, you're next. Yeah, my little tubby. My little tubby. Come on, be here. Come here. Sheep, 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 Come here. Come on. Come get There you go, baby. Look at that. All right. Oh, I'm proud of that one. We learned a lot. Hey, bromie, homie. Hey, bromie, homie. Nope, nope, nope. That's not for you. Out. No. No. Out. Go. All righty. We'll do the other one here in a little bit. We need a break, huh? Come on, bud. Come on, good boy. Yeah, look at the difference between that beautiful svelte girl and that mess over there. <laughs> yeah, good girl. Come on. Come here. There you go. <sighs> we'll get better. We'll get better. Not bad for only our third time doing it. Huh. Hmm. What? What? All right. Break time for sure. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Oh, does that feel good? Oh. All right. I need a drink. Oh, Bahia, that was so hard. But look at those beautiful feet. Yeah, I'm sorry. We got a little bit close on that one, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry. Our little, uh, not so little girl here. We cleaned her up. She doesn't have any wool hanging down no more. Looks much better. We only got a couple nicks. 
and we got her back feet done. She's super mad. She kicks, she kicks yeah, a lot. Okay, okay, lower this down. There, can you get your face out? <laughs> <laughs> there you, you go. You can leave. Come on out. You can leave. Come on. There you go, good girl. Come on. Come on, good girl. Come on. <laughs> now, getting the harness off of her. <laughs> Brom's like, hey, hey, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> There's no way she's going to let you get that off of her. <laughs> Zoysha! <laughs> there. <laughs> See? All done. There. You're free. Aw, look at how cute that is. You guys having a sleepover? <laughs> All right. See? You're okay got long face hairs. She's not going to speak to us for the rest of the night. Like, oh, she's mad. Okay, but look, you look so much better. You don't have danglers. Okay. We did it. Oh my gosh, now I'm ready for a shower. Yeah, I'm just gross. I feel gross too. Alright. Uh, Rylan got it. I'll have her come out and collect the rest of it. Let's just move the stand. Actually, I guess it's okay there, huh? No, because Hazel will jump on it and then mess with that window. <laughs> what? 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 Hi, guys. It's Christina with the Geocache Family Farm. And I don't know if you can hear me over the fans, um, but I'm in Greenhouse 1, and I'm trying to get the last few um, little batch starts like this. I'm trying to get those batch starts um, up potted until I decide what I do with them. Uh, we are still in our first year of um, being a business. Uh, we still have a lot of infrastructure going on. We still have a lot of um, learning and growing happening. And so uh, there's just a lot. There's a lot that we're trying to figure out as we do this. Um, so pacing being the biggest, uh, that's what I'm struggling with. And um, knowing when I need to start seedlings so I can have them for sale versus um, for my own use and planting out in greenhouse too. Um, there's just so much we're, we're doing and so it's still just been a lot of overwhelming information and process <laughs> overload. Uh, I'm, I'm down to eight uh, batch starts left to separate and then I have new seedlings that I just started. Um, the new seedlings are cucumbers and squash, uh, zinnias and calendula and uh, as of my peak this morning, um, no calendula have come up and it's been over a week. And the squash, oh, and pumpkins are very intermittent. And so, um, I don't know. I don't know if I will actually have things for sale like I had hoped and like I was uh, sharing with people. And so, uh, it is what it is. Um, I am going to keep working on planting things for um, the nights where we can do uh, bouquet harvests and we have people come up and sign up for like a, a class or whatever um, but it's in God's hands um, I still have had business classes that I've attended um, I still have a, a competition I'm involved with in the hopes of getting some money to help us put back into the business whether it be for sales or um, paying the mortgage uh, so anyway um, yeah Colorado growing zone 5b uh, one of the biggest 
frustrations that I am dealing with right now uh, are aphids. Um, I had them last year, but it wasn't as big of a deal last year because I wasn't open and I wasn't selling things. And though we are organic um, and I'm not using pesticides, um, I also don't want to send aphids home with customers. And so um, I am going through and having to um, hand squish aphids and I bought um, six containers of ladybugs. And I know it will even out soon um, as the ladybugs are reproducing and um, eating back there, um, but it is still um, just a frustration um, and, and discouragement. You know, they're not, they're not doing huge damage to the plants, but they are using those plants to reproduce heavily and um, it's just driving me insane. The other frustration is grasshoppers, which I had this last year too. Um, they decimated my dahlias last year and I am trying to prevent that this year. And so I uh, am using the sticky, sticky traps um, and just going and putting them over the rows of plants as I walk through. But it's just, there's so many, there's so many. And again, because we have a greenhouse guardian who just jumped up here to say hello, um, I don't want to use poisons because he also helps keep mice and hoppers down. And if he were to eat them and get sick, uh, that would be horrid. And so um, it's just a reality uh, and a frustration, but uh, it's also discouraging. And so, you know, this is, this is where we're at. I also have a huge amount of tomatoes that still um, do not have homes and um, it's discouraging because it's time, it's energy, and cost um, in bougie soil and a seeds um, and then of course labor um, getting these guys to this point and I've already lowered the price down to three dollars um, just a couple days ago and I'm going to do another um, post uh, probably tonight before bedtime just to remind everybody this will be the last week um, and then I'm just gonna plant them in the greenhouses and the, um, the area outside of the greenhouse um, in the hopes of just making produce um, I don't want to waste them it's been too much of a, a labor of love and um, I'll, I'll set a few aside for uh, community members that uh, may be down on their on their luck too but um, yeah they're getting so leggy they they need to be in the ground so um, yeah it's just it's just where we're at um, we'll get there there's still, there's just so much I'm learning and I know that this is just part of what it is opening a business and being your own boss, but it's scary when you have bills to pay. Uh, yesterday was a fantastic day because um, I was actually closed and I still made $155 um, because uh, somebody messaged me and asked if there was any way she could get plants and I was like, yes. Most definitely. And so, um, it was a good day. <laughs> I was closed and I still made money. But yeah, look at, look at these babies. They're so tall. Oh, I'm about ready to just take them out and just, just plant them. I just need it to cool down a little bit. It's, it's just, it's so much. It's so much. Oh, frustrating. Uh, and then seeing these stupid aphids flying everywhere. Ah, dang it. And then once the tomato's out of here, the store is gonna look so empty. Like, ah, uh, it's just sad. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. We'll, um, we'll do the second half of it here, being, you know, growing food and sailing on there too. But look, there's definitely certain plants that these things like more than others. You see them? 
Oh. I'm gonna take them outside. All of my petunias, the baskets at the back, are covered. They're covered. What's going on? Christina with the Geocache Family Farm, and I am out here pulling yellow leaves off of my petunias. We cut these baskets back in the hopes of getting them to thicken up and um, darken with vitamins, um, but also because they were just covered in aphids. Um, so we brought them out here so that we can be spraying them off, but not spraying them back off into the greenhouse. And they are starting to look much better. The color is starting to get darker, and um, I think it's going to be good. But as I was doing that, look what I found. It's a baby ladybug. I'm taking it back into the greenhouse because um, I paid for the parents. <laughs> and by golly, I want this little... Oh, there's another one. I need them in the greenhouse working. So these guys are gonna go back in. Um, the larvae, of course, eat way more than the parents do. And so I, I want them eating the aphids I still have in the greenhouse. So let me uh, rescue these guys. Plus it's just, it's freaking cold. So here we are, June 11th, and uh, it's freaking cold. Um, my sheep, uh, got pneumonia and then she's got diarrhea and so this cold wet weather sucks anyway, I'm gonna go inside and take these babies back in All right. you see the amount of aphids go get them guys go get them
Oh, it's been a rough couple days again with the weather and my sick zoysia. I hadn't been out in the greenhouse, but I wanted to come out and see if the tomatoes need water before we open tomorrow. And look at these poppies. I'm pretty sure this one's the bread, uh, bread seed basket. Um, oh my goodness. And then this little guy is getting ready to open, so that one's different. They look like weeds, but oh my goodness, they are so pretty. Never had have poppies get this big in all my years of having poppies at my old house. Look at her. She's absolutely gorgeous. My amazing gray down here. Oh, and then this red one. Look at this red one. Oh. Oh, I love them. Look at these. Absolutely spectacular. Oh. So fun. Oh, love them, love them. So cool. Oh, I got little white ones in here. Oh. These got mixed up because Stink and Hazel bumped the tray. And, uh, so I, I uh, just planted them all together and said, well, we'll see what happens. Never had them get this big. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. I definitely want to plant these around the property, I think. Oh my. Everything is really starting to come alive back here. Oh. Mmm. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We spent um, a full day uh, planting greenhouse too. So, like everything out here is starting to... I need to get bags on these so that the grasshoppers aren't getting... I did just order some more sticky traps. Because they are decimating these. I need to get bud bags on. Oh, the Lizzie's. Look at them. Oh. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Glads are nice and dark. Oh. It's amazing. Oh, look at these sweet peas. Oh, my goodness. Look at them. Oh. Hoppers. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, baby, come here. You gotta go up this. Oh my goodness, I love them so much. Oh. oh, this is just exciting. All right, I gotta get these up. Oh, it 
think you got him to jump. No, he was right there. Nice. We're, we're catching grasshoppers. And for as soft-hearted as I am, look what they're doing to my dahlias. Like, ugh! And this is working pretty well. And it's nice because we can turn it into a, a game of beating each other if we want. <laughs> <laughs> Who can catch the most? Well, wait a minute. No, no, no. <laughs> you have better eyes. <laughs> it works so good. Because they, they usually freeze. And then you're able to just slide the paper in there and then stick it to them. And then she can run these papers down to the chickens and make their night. And I can pick up the ones that are already on the ground. If you come across, well, no, I wonder if they're still catching some. Oh, these giant marigolds make me so happy. So, so happy. Oh. Oh, it got away. <laughs> oh, I almost died. And, and look at my ladybugs. We have four babies that Ryland just relocated. Oh, Ry, this one has a bunch of aphids in this one. Oh, she doesn't mind touching it with her hands. I can't do that. <laughs> All right, wait, let's look at the damage we did here. I think I caught more than you. Shut up. Turn them over. Turn it over. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Honk. <laughs> They're gonna love this. Yep. Look, she brings treats, guys. She brings treats. Just for you. She's like, yeah. She's like, the ducks want some. Donuts behind you. He was checking. No? Okay. Hey, do you want one too? <laughs> they can't run. What do you think, guys? Look at you. Are you in your stance, huh? You silly turkey. Huh? You're a silly turkey. Yes, you are. Jeez, Lee loves it. Yeah, she does. I'm surprised Beanie didn't come up. Not at all. Yeah, see what I mean? All right, now hook it to the fence to catch flies with those. Here, I'll hold that while you pull the chain down. 
not with the carabiners, I guess, though. Because it's got a perfect hole. Look! Now it can help give flies. All right, so my youngling, she's gone out to check those petunias again, and she's found four more ladybug larvae. And this is her third trip, so, and I rescued a couple yesterday, so we keep working them back in here. This is fantastic. <laughs> Does that one have a lot? Those ones back there were the ones that were more covered. So cool. <laughs> I, uh, I am getting so stoked because this baby opened today and I got this one. My first dahlias. Oh, and look at how big my sweet Annie's getting. The poppies are insane. I love them. Those poppy pods are crazy. Oh, every day I come out here and they swelled even more. It's amazing. Oh, I love this. Oh, I am hopelessly addicted. Yeah. <laughs> So, the youngling is making me a bed finally. And I have so many babies that need it into the ground. I'm trying to do a Hunger Games. Whatever one wins out gets planted. But how do you do a Hunger Games with things that don't move, per se? I think I have to go with the ones that look the sickest, which these guys are uh, struggling. It's my first year growing them. Completely fascinating plants. They were the ones I was completely in love with before I started really get going. And now they're the ones that are um, the last to get taken care of. So I think they win. The odds are in your favor. You get planted. I want to see if they get bigger. I want to see if they you know, we'll put more flower things out and or if I stunted them. I have no idea. Oh, I don't know how she does this because I, uh, I came out here and tried to do it. I guess I did it dry, though. She really got it wet. Although she wasn't standing out there for very long. She got it wet. She walked away and talked to me in there for a minute. And then came back and I heard the tiller going. I need to learn her magic. I just, I need to be able to do this when she's at her other job. Because I have another whole round of glads that need to get in. I have 
three more trays of asters. I have another whole row or another whole bed of snapdragons I can do. I've got more fever few. I've got mahogany splendor. If these guys don't sell, I could have rose moss, maybe get seeds. I have um, Godisha, which I've never grown before. Ooh, I think I'm gonna pop those guys now. I have the toothache plant. What was this one? Mm. Marshmallow plant. Oh, I need to do this tray. So they're next. What is this? Mullen. Oh, I need to get those guys too. Oh, look, sadness. I'm just, I'm killing baby's breath left and right today. And I have spoon currant tomatoes. Oh. Next year, I'm going to stick with a, a set number of plants. And then that's what I have. Um, maybe the scarcity will get people in to support us um, quicker. Uh, so that I'm freed up from the seedling side of things other than keeping them watered uh, and then I can focus on growing the cut flower side of things. Um, I love starting seeds though. It's one of my favorites but it's a lot of work and so I don't know. Let me uh, let me give you a quick little lowdown of what's left in the store um, as we are trying to transition to just a few things in the store and then focusing on greenhouse two, which is our uh, food production greenhouse. All right, so uh, these guys are way too tall. I mean, if I walk up to this, all right. There's my hip. They're too tall. So I am going to strip the bottom and uh, get them planted uh, in the u -pick. Um My mom and dad got us a another 100 foot hose and so if I connect that to the one that I had out there I can water. Um, so yeah I still have a bunch of rose moss which this is just fun. So these guys may go into some pots. I have the impatience which these are the coolest flowers. These guys spread and um, like shade. So again, if these don't sell this week, um, I'm gonna plant them outside in my yard um, just to beautify our space too. Tons of coleus left, um, wicked fun to grow. So I can turn those into some baskets and put them around the bunnies and sheep and dog. Um, these are the tomatoes that we left in the hopes that some late starter gardeners uh, will come and want to grab them. If not, I'm going to throw as much as I can outside in pots and um, around, around the yard just to draw insects, hopefully. I can put some around the bee area, which I haven't gotten bees yet, so um, it's okay. I will work on... Um, I haven't reached out also, but um, I thought I was going to be contacted when they came in. Um, and I don't want to be a pest calling every couple days, have they come in, have they come in? So um, I will paint the hives, get them put together and ready, uh, dipping the foundations in beeswax, which I just ordered, and just have them ready to go. Um, but then in the meantime, I can be planting. Um, all around the area that I want to make. So we are struggling with the aphids, but the the uh, the ladybugs that I bought are um, going to town on these sick pepper plants that I had, and there are babies everywhere. There, there, there. There, there. I mean, they are just all over the place. They are doing such a good job. So, um, yesterday when my middle 
child and I were out here um, trying to decide with what's left in here because I need to get them out of the way because we're doing the rest of the beds. I, um, I started cleaning off the peppers to see if I could still sell them or if I'm moving them to my greenhouse. I found after cleaning them off that there was a bunch of larvae on them. Then I remembered that they were also on the petunias that we had in here, which we had moved outside. And so I went and checked outside, and, and that's when, if you watched earlier, um, Ryland came in with like 20 of them she brought back in. So they're, they're doing good. <laughs> so I'm going to have a lot of freaking jalapeno. I'm also gonna have a lot of Cali Wonder Peppers and banana peppers. That's okay. I, uh, I don't feel confident selling these, so we'll sell the food instead. I grew this from seed my first time this year. So all my first time plants um, are doing well, except for the Bells of Ireland, which sucks. But that's okay. Um, I'm going to try and let it stay over there and self-seed and see if it comes back. Rocked. It sounds like we're getting another nasty storm. It is um, June 15th. Oh. You know what that is? That's that's Owen here. <laughs> oh oh. Are you itchy, buddy? Huh? Are you itchy? You're scratching on everything. Oh, itchy furs, huh? He says, I want to get rid of that. Huh? Oh, get it off. Get it off. Yeah. Oh, poor buddy. Another week, he's going to be naked. And look who's feeling better. She's eating. I haven't heard a cough today, have you? She was still coughing last night. The vet called while we were grabbing food. Was that a sneeze? Who was it? Oh, okay. He said to watch her, and if by Monday she's still coughing, she might need some more antibiotics. We need a hay feeder. I love how Brom gets mouthfuls. <laughs> You look like a bunny rabbit. <laughs> That's how bunnies eat. You're not a bunny. You're not a bunny. Yeah, they're picky on Yep. They're picky, yeah. Huh. He eats everything. He's a good boy. He eats his veggies. <laughs> you guys are such boogers. It's 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 just hair. It's pig hair. Bromy. Hey homie. Okay, so remember how I was talking about turning this feed shed into a sheep and pig shed? Well, we're making it a reality because the mice got in and ruined another 150, if not more, dollars worth of feed. So we are, we slid it from this panel onto beams. And now we're working with my dad, who brought the awesome vehicle to help us slide it 
to slide it back onto this to pull it down there so that we can try and take it in and put it back in that corner. So in the winter time, all of the animals can be together inside of it and be warm. They have more space to move because right now they can't all fit in the little one I have. Look it, it opens up the space so much more. I love it, look it. It makes the view so nice. Stupid mice, I hate them. They're so stinking cute. We can't kill the stupid things. We were hoping when we moved the beam that they'd run in, chickens would eat them, but there wasn't a mouse visible. Our, our, my dad's direct neighbor, but our neighbor gave us these slightly bent rack beams to help us slide on. So how did you get it this far off? Just pushing? Yeah, just pushing. It's it not heavy. Right. Yeah. Do you want me on the front to help guide it? Yeah, Okay, wait, wait. This corner fell. Ah, oh, shoot. It's okay. Yep. Oops. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Pretty impressive. <laughs> it's still in one piece. Oh. Do I need to corral the animals? Okay. That's for you guys. Look at that. That's good. You gotta be able to have a rotate space, babe. Nice. I hook on so that we can drag it in. These little beasties are what are ruining things. But at the same token, I'm kind of thankful because now the sheep have a better house. So it works out. Go throw him over the fence. Stupid little thing. He's like, but my home is gone. You probably should let water run through that much longer so that it collapses. Because otherwise they'll just go back to the tunnel. What do you think, guys? Check it out. It's your new barn. Your sheep shed, huh? Owen. Oh, oh. Come here, Bia. Come here. What do you think, buddy, huh? Isn't that so much nicer? Emrys, get out of there. He's trying to pee on everything. Amy, get out. Come Amy's on, coming. out. You don't need to mark it, out. Come on. What do you think, oh, huh? Huh, look at all this space, hey homie. My bromie homie. You guys just want food, huh? You've had treats all day.
come this way. Oh, you're gonna oh. hit the window. That's not me, that's the wind. Oh! Oh! <gasps> <laughs> And then it gives up? I guess so. Alright, now it's checking the quality of the internet. That's the other issue, is you have to set up... You have to find the Wi-Fi within the router, within the Wi-Fi. Look, look at how cute she looks sitting there in the grass. <laughs> Trying, you look like a little girl again. <laughs> Almost identical with when we're sitting down. Y you are. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> I see. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's following. Walk, walk this way. Yeah. No, you, your body. <laughs> So that's what I'm saying. If you walk down the street, we'll see if it follows you or not. Naya, stop! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's following her. Yeah. It's like it's a little puppy dog. Oh, you better get it up, though. Get it away from the fence. <laughs> Go, go, go. <laughs> Naya, stop. <laughs> oh.
Hi guys, it's Christina with the Geocache family and I wanted to share our tomato pruning today. Um, it is already getting warm. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and so we are out here in the tomato garden uh, trying to get this done before it gets up to 100 degrees today. So let me show you. Alright, so this floppy little mess here is not on its string. And I want to heavily prune it because I don't want it turning into a tangled mess. I want it to be one stock. Um, these guys we are pruning heavily because we have so many of them. And um, I want to be able to share with people if they come out to the farm uh, the different types of trellising that you can do. And so these guys in the greenhouse are getting trellised um, single vine. And so let me show this. So I'm going to hold her up like this find the main stem and it's kind of hard to tell because I've got two fat stems here and honestly I can go either way um, but I think I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go this route just because it's slightly taller so I'm gonna hold her up like this Make sure it's taut up top. Pull it around this way. And I probably have more string than what I needed, but um, it's hard to get up on the ladder and gauge how much you need. So the youngling helped me do this and that's okay. Just wrap it around the bottom. I've uh, learned not to tie them because as the plants get bigger and heavier, the uh, string can literally cut into them. And so I just wrap it around the bottom. Okay, now that I've got it this way, I'm gonna bring her up. Okay, and at this point I can't do too much more or I'll snap her. So I'm gonna leave it like this. Now I come back through and I'm doing the pruning. This one I'm taking off. Anything that's close to the ground, I'm taking off. Okay. Alright, now anything that's in the armpits, I'm taking off. I don't want those to grow because they turn into these. So take it off, take it off, and then as this straightens up now because it doesn't have the weight, I'll be able to wind it more as it goes up. Now the plant can focus on putting the energy into the fruit. Look at how blue this grass is. I didn't even ask him to do this. He just came out and started doing it. He is turning into such an amazing man. Ugh. Hey guys, it's Christina and Rylan with the Geocache Family Farm. We are in Greenhouse 2. It is the 24th of June 
and we are still planting. Um, the weather has been so uncooperative that we are getting rain constantly. And so it's just been soup and sludge and cold. Um, the greenhouses are dry-ish, um, but man, when the sun comes out, the temperature gets hot quick. So she and I are out here working furiously to plant these dahlias in cross shapes so that they support each other as we're going down. I just planted gray zucchini right behind her, mouse melons behind that. Uh, what were those ones? Ooh, where are the tags for those ones? I think those were... Did you put the ones all the way down there? No, the two that are right there. Weird. Oh, there it is. Patty pans. So those two are patty pans. And these are the straight eight cucumbers, the Arminian cucumbers, the rest of the cucumbers that I still need to get in. I have Market More lemon, Bia Alphas, and, oh, what's the other one? Lemon, Mute Market More, oh, the Burpless Tenders, that's what it was. So, yeah, everything is doing great. Like, the tomatoes are beautiful. We need to finish stringing these guys up. I've got dill here. I've got cabbage here, and cabbage looks sad. We're experimenting. Um, it is really late in the season to be growing cabbage. It may be way too hot, even though I planted it right next to the cooler. Um, we're gonna see, I'm gonna see how much we can do. So we're trying to finish the sides, and then we'll start working down the middle. In the middle, I want to experiment with all of the peppers and uh, beans and lettuces and things like that um, as we go towards the door so anyway it is already 94 degrees in here we're both getting very pink cheeked so I told her uh, let's just get these dahlias planted and then we'll call it good so anyway um, I don't want to bring trellising out here so we are um, planting so we need one on each side here honey of this one because then it'll support him so one here one there and then one there. And we just keep working that way down to put them in uh, so they kind of support each other as they grow up. Right here? Yeah, it's perfect. So anyway, we're gonna finish this before we seriously die out here. <laughs> the heat exhaustion is a thing. So anyway, thanks for joining us. We'll show you later on tonight when it closes down. put him in the main greenhouse and then we, we can keep trying to find him so we can be trying to find Nemo <laughs> hey baby oh my gosh you're so cute oh my gosh yes oh my gosh I love him he's like I'm kind of scared right now he's okay oh I love mantis it's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna squish you. Oh. All right. I got eucalyptus, lemon, and blue planted. I got asters planted. Naya made that bed, that bed, that bed. I started this one. She finished it. She made this one, this one. I got. Jewels of Opar planted here. 
And now we're trying to plant these very sad snapdragons and see if we can save them. They look like crap, but we're gonna squish them in here, see if they live, and then I'm gonna grab the ones from the store that are in the front that haven't sold, and I'm gonna plant them too, because they will make cut flowers for us. I'm tired, today was hot, so we're all struggling. Sucks. <laughs> He's filled up with air, his little sides are all puffed up, Naya. See him? See him? Like, let like, me go. <laughs> Day four of my captivity. Oh. All right, buddy, we're gonna go turn you loose. here planting some sage tree bushes bless you um, in what will be the future apiary uh, we have to get cardboard down in this area and get it covered with plastic so that we don't have to weed whack around this because once we actually have bees that will be bad but I'm watching this we have had I think no less than five or six tornado warnings in this last month. Um, it's crazy. Uh, and that is what the clouds kind of look like when they are the precursor of it. And the wind has picked up. So um, I want to get this done and get into the house quickly. So let's grab our Toad and Nemo and take them into the greenhouse. I'll take these guys. You and you take the shovel and then meet me in the greenhouse. Greenhouse one or two? Yes, one. We, um, we need to make a bereavement sympathy bouquet. Um, Naya just found out that one of her coworkers lost a family member and so we want to honor her and him. Um, I don't think I mentioned, but Rylan ended up quitting. Um, it was not the right fit for her. And so it's been awesome for me because I have a full-time gardening buddy again. Flowers for every stage of life. From beginning to end. <laughs> I came in here and this one had already made it. So, hey, works for me. Looks beautiful. All right, let's free Toadie and Nemo, and we can call it a night. This is the tiniest one we've ever seen. All right, all right, all right. Look at him. All right, you're free, buddy. Free. You put him right on the sticky paper? No. He's right there and then he's Pull down. that up though, because I don't want him he's getting stuck. stuck on it. Yeah. Cool. Enjoy, just dump the rest of No, this. take it back to Naya. Okay. And then let's get Nemo. I need scissors. Oh, I gotta harvest some of these flowers. She is having um, tremors from the weed whacker. <laughs> All right, Nemo, are you ready to go, buddy? Go find him a good spot, honey. Okay. Bye, buddy. Go forth. Kill aphids.
Yep. Now get these weeds out and I can put the rest of the cucumbers on those and then the, uh, all the peppers will start here. We'll have to try and refold it. <laughs> that worked really good. Oh. What we'll do is we'll wrap it up and we'll stick it on the sides here so it kills everything here. That way next year we can actually plant all the way up to the greenhouse. Wow, look at that. It's dead. Ooh, I love it. Water still went through a little bit because it's moist. Uh, unless it ran underneath it. Alrighty, so we did two rows of dahlias, a row of tomatoes, a row of yarrow, another row of tomatoes. I'm going to do two more dahlias, a row of tomatoes. Then I think I'm going to do some sunflowers here. We'll see. She's going to keep um, weeding and planting because I can't get down on my knee this today. I overextended it yesterday and it hurts. So I am going to go get the um, seed uh, planter thing and, and get sunflower seeds.